Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a good start to your weekend. We are here today. We're going to open up four packs of 1989 Donruss. I have just started the second bag that I purchased recently at a flea market that I go to several times a year. So here we go, four fresh packs of 1989 Donruss baseball cards. As you know, the last box, we had some pretty quality hits. I should say box, it's it's 36 loose packs that were in a Ziploc type bag, in one bag, and then this, this bag that I just opened also has 36 packs, so we're dealing with basically two wax boxes worth, and I just feel that the boxes were probably damaged or not eye appealing, so the seller thought it was just best to put the loose packs in a bag and sell them at price, so it was a nice price and I picked them up, and as you see I ended up with a, a Craig Biggio rookie. We did get a couple of Randy Johnson rookies, and of course the big hit out of the box was two Ken Griffey Jr. rookies. So I was very ecstatic about that, and again, I'm going to probably continue to call it a box, even though there was no physical box there. So anyway, let's go ahead and get cracking with these packs. There you see the 1989 Donruss baseball pack. Always like that red to blue fade. There you see on the back is a Leaf product, and it did have a Diamond King's... Uh, the larger size that Diamond Kings offer there. I think maybe throughout the years Donner's had various offers for maybe binders or other sets or just various products that they would sell. I never did partake in any of those offers that they had. I should be able to complete a couple puzzles. We start off with Ken Hill. Again, this is one of my favorite early set, sets. Black, uh, there's Jack McDowell. I believe they called him Black Jack McDowell when he played for, with the White Sox for a while. Uh, Brian Harvey. I'm not going to list all these names here, but this was uh, Tom Gordon. This was one of those sets that I did not have an opportunity to collect much of when I was starting my collection, or starting my collecting. 1989 Tops, of course, you guys know, was the one that I did start with. Kurt Schilling, I believe that's a rookie, so we'll set that one aside. Kind of awkward that that was the only card. That, well, I guess these last few were upside down. Tony Gwynn, it's a nice Diamond King. So we'll set that one off to the side. Let's see who pack number two has. Of course, they always have these puzzle pieces. I might be able to put a few of those together. We'll flip that over. Mike Jackson from the Mariners. So a lot of these names I'm familiar with because this is when I started collecting. But again, I didn't watch a whole lot. John Smoltz, I think that might be a rookie too. The Schilling may not be a rookie, but I'm pretty sure the Smoltz is. I'm sure somebody will correct me. And I do appreciate it when you guys point out stuff that either that I miss or that I misspeak about. Bobby Bow, of course, July 1st, I think till about 2035 is Bobby Bow Day. I really can't remember. So, but I do appreciate it when you guys do, like I said, when you uh, let me know where I err because, you know, I need that. I need to know, hey, you know, you uh, you said this guy was in the Hall of Fame and he wasn't or or whatever. I mean, I appreciate that. I, that, that helps me learn a little bit more as I go along here. So that last pack really wasn't that strong. Of course, I probably missed something, so please feel free to let me know. Tom Pagnazzi, I remember him slightly. And again, I always like these Donruss cards, the backs. Of course, Donruss was famous for only putting the last five years of that player's career stats on. It does have their total career. And then I do like the uh, the information there, the birth date, the height, the weight, the bat, how they bat, how they throw, etc., etc. I always find that stuff interesting. I've never really sat down and looked through those. But that's just kind of some of the stuff that you can learn a lot about the different people, maybe find a player that you share a birthday with, or people that are from a town near you, or what have you, so that's kind of kind of a dud pack, not going to say it was just a total train wreck, but, but it wasn't that bad. We got one more pack to go, so our final pack is upside down, Todd Burns starts off this final pack. It's very similar to our first pack. Kinsley Millens is in this pack as well. Of course, probably butchered his name. 
I wonder if that means we'll get another smoltz or shilling. We will see Bobby... Now, yeah, that's weird. Because I remember the Bobby Bow. Diamond King. Oh, well. Well, is what it is. Les Lancaster, Randy Myers, Ray Kionis, and Mike Flanagan. So no, no rookies that are popping out in this one. But overall, you know, for the price that I paid for those two bags, I'm happy with. See, I'm pretty sure both of these are rookies. I'll have to look up. I think the Smoltz might be a second-year card. That may be a second-year card for Smoltz. I think his rookie might actually be 88, but I can't remember for sure. Schilling, I know, is a rookie, so we'll get that one sleeved up appropriately here in a little bit. And I do appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, we were up to 144 subs last time I looked, so thank you to the new people that have subscribed and welcome aboard. Later on this afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and open up the last four packs of 2018 Prism Hobby. I know that uh, we've only had one autograph come out of there so far, so there should be three more autographs in those final four packs. I'm very excited to look forward to opening those and hope you guys are as well. When we get to 500 subs, you guys know the rule. We're going to uh, have a giveaway of a, either a baseball, football, racing, or wrestling relic card. And when I get them picked out, I'll put them on the easels back there. And then that way you guys will be able to, you know, decide which one you like the best. And if your name is chosen, you'll be able to say, hey, I want this one. And then we'll ship it off your way if you are the lucky subscriber that is chosen at random when we have that contest. So once again, I appreciate all you guys watching. Thanks again. Tried to keep this morning video fairly short. I think a uh, good way to start off your Saturday. I will be, uh, my wife and I will be going to the speed drum again tonight, so maybe we'll have another video for you guys. Uh, they're not going to have that crazy winged outlaw car there, but there'll be some other action, so if I get a little bit on film, you guys will be the first to see it. So once again, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again, and have a great Saturday.